Today we're going to be talking about the different types of tooling that we can put into machinery, uh, cleanliness and keeping the tooling clean, uh, alignments of the tooling and also uh, types of uh, membranes we can put onto the tooling to stop marking on the material. First of all, uh, we must make sure the tooling is absolutely clean and spotless of any dust, dirt, got to be spotless. When you're putting a load on a machine, if there's dirt underneath it, it's going to dent the tooling, it's going to dent your beam. So always make sure your tooling is clean. Best thing to clean it with, WD-40 and a nice white rag. Clean the tool all the way around. There are several different ways of aligning tooling in a press brake. On this particular machine, we have Promicam style top tooling with the Amada Tang. Basically, with a fast clamping, you place the tooling into position, you push it up, and you close the clamp. This is on the top tooling. The bottom tooling, basically, is self aligning as well, the same as the top. You choose the V that you require, make sure all the tool are aligned in the same method. Tighten up your Allen keys and then just nip them lightly. No need to over tighten. And this is this type of uh, Euro tooling that will align automatically no need for pushing and pulling of screws, it will come perfectly in line. Here on this machine, we have a Willer hydraulic clamping system fitted. Self aligning, press button, open, close. Let me show how we change the tooling. To open the hydraulic system, you press this button here. Okay, now you can see tooling is loose and the hydraulic clamping is open. To remove the tool, you grab it with one hand, press the button with the other and out comes the tool. The tool then to replace is put it back where it came from, place it up and when it clamps it will automatically pull the tooling up. We can also see the hydraulic clamping is loose on the bottom, you just take the tool out Get your new tool and place it back. Close the hydraulic clamping. We now press the button again. And when the white light comes on, the hydraulic clamping is closed. This machine has a multi-V which needs alignment with these handles front and rear. It has the same standard top tooling that we have on most machines and the fast clamping as well. We've already done how to change this on a previous video. On this one, basically, you wrap a chain round here and here. You place the machine into slow speed and you take it up. Obviously, you would have released all the handles first. Then, you turn the V to the correct V that you require and you make sure it's all clean and that the bed is clean and in slow speed again you bring the beam down and adjusting here and at the rear and looking down the center of the machine you align front and rear both ends and then nip the middle when finished this is how to align a multi-v so remember first of all put the machine into slow speed bring up the laser guard, both ends, slacken off the front and rear screws, take the chain 
and place here both ends, making sure you have released both ends as well on the screws. Bring up the beam slowly. Once the tool is in the air, turn it to the correct V. Bring the beam back down very slowly until it's down. Remove the chain. Place your plates back and align looking down the centre of the tool with these screws here. Make sure you do the same both ends and then nip them once alignment has been made.